Let's go! Hi, welcome to Shitty Review. We got to watch Batman 2022 tonight. Batman 2022, directed by Matt Reeves. This guy knows what the fuck he's doing, apparently. The sparkly vampire kid did it. Batman, Robert Pattinson. Not bad. I'm gonna try not to get into spoilers, but fuck. It was a fucking good movie, man. It's everything you'd expect in a Batman movie. Dark, gritty, rain. Lots and lots of rain. It looks great. It was shot great. I dig Robert Pattinson as Batman. His Bruce Wayne's good too, but his Batman's fucking great. Colin Farrell, Oz, Penguin, I didn't even know that was fucking him. Zoe Kravitz, Catwoman, great. Commissioner Gordon, great. The Riddler, great. Who would have thought the kid from fucking, what, Detroit Rock City? Shit. John Turturro, he plays his creepy self in this one. He does creeps and just weird shit good. I like him as Falcone. I like all the writing. I like how everybody was portrayed. The, uh, the way they did their characters was great. Their, their take, their take on these characters was fucking awesome. I'll tell you that the Riddler's the main dude, but there are obviously other things going on, but the Riddler's fucking great. They kind of, like, play him as, like, the Zodiac killer. That's fucking awesome. You don't see a lot of Bruce Wayne. It's definitely a Batman story. Not a bad thing. Just, you're not gonna see a lot of Bruce in this movie. Thank God they did not do a fucking origin in this one. Oh my God. There was no origin story. No origin story. Like we've got 50 times before this. Don't need it. We know how the fuck he became Batman. Let's move on. And they did. And it was fucking great. There is a little callback though during one of the funeral scenes. There's a little kid there and he totally looks at him. So they do do a little callback to it. But they don't go too deep. The Riddler basically causes a fucking shit storm and Batman's got to clean it up. That's the simplest way I'll put it. But there's a lot of other shit. All the fight scenes are great. Nothing's too fucking fast, speedy. None of this quick shit, everything's pretty good, everything's pretty intense. Nirvana, something in the way. Fucking perfect. Perfect. Batman is a little emo in this, not gonna lie. Cut my wrist and bite my eyes. He's got the eyeliner, or whatever you'd call that. I also like in this movie that Batman's not perfect. Like, there are scenes where he's like going for landings on stuff and he totally fucking misses, he fucks up. Like, you think he's supposed to just be fucking badass, but I think this is like a younger version of Batman, so they're portraying him, he's learning as he goes. This movie's a breath of fresh air, man, from what I've seen of the prior Batman films or fucking Justice League, all that shit. Go check it out. I highly recommend it. If you're a Batman fan, you'll totally dig it. But yeah, I definitely, three, four, three, four stars, man. It's a fucking good movie, dude. Go check it out. Dude, the kid is a good fucking Batman. Fucking A. The story's fucking great, man. Check it fucking out, please. This movie is two hours and 50 some minutes, so sit tight. I obviously am on the high from first seeing it, but fucking dude. Perfect. It was great. It was just what I needed. Thank you, Matt Reeves. There is so much rain. There's a lot of rain. A lot of fucking rain. My wrist and bite my eyes. My eyes. Cut my wrist and bite. Cut my wrist and bite my eyes. Cut my wrist and bite my eyes.